Today, I'm going to be making a really simple one, and these are my classic shortbread wedges. And here are the ingredients that we need. I have two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of regular butter, this is salted butter I'm using in this recipe, and I also have three quarters of a cup of icing sugar. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. Okay, so our first step is to get our butter into the bowl, and then we're going to take our icing sugar and get that in there. This is an extremely easy recipe. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar together. Whenever we're making cookies or anything like this, you always want to cream the fat and the sugar together. This is not even a minute later and you can see how nicely this is really combined. And it's gotten very, very light and fluffy. And that's what I'm looking for. And our next step is to get in all our flour. And today I'm sifting my flour. You don't have to, but I just feel like doing it today. So there we go. So now what we're gonna do, just gonna combine this. So I'll keep going at this and I'll be back in a second. So I've been mixing this for a good minute or so and everything is really, really well incorporated now. So that's it on this recipe. So I just want to clean my beaters off. There we go. I used salted butter in this recipe. If you're using unsalted butter, all you have to do is add in a teaspoon of salt to this recipe. Okay, so I've cleaned up my work area and what I have here is a nine inch tart pan with a removable bottom. And this is gonna make it extremely easy to remove our shortbread later. And shortbread is just amazing. With three ingredients, three simple ingredients, you can make such amazing cookies. Okay, I've just got a little bit of plastic wrap here. Okay, so get your plastic wrap on here. And it's amazing how well this works with your hands. So later on, we're gonna bake this for one hour at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We want a really slow oven, and we're gonna gently bake our shortbread. Okay, I just wanna make sure that we got this all down. So basically what you wanna do is just get this nicely packed in there, and try to make it nice and even on the top. We want to chill this in the fridge for about a half an hour. If you want to chill a little longer, that's fine too. But I'm going to pop this in for about 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so my shortbread has chilled down in the fridge. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take my bench scraper. You can use a knife. And what we want to do is just make little wedge marks, just try to get right in the middle. And there we go, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is, I've got a little cookie cutter here, and I'm just gonna put it in the middle, and push it down. And you can either bake it with that in there, or not, it doesn't really matter. That will just make it easier to get everything out. I'm gonna leave it in. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a wooden skewer, and I'm just going to put little holes what you can do is you can use a fork if you don't have a wooden skewer. This just makes nicer size holes. It's decorative, but what it also does is it gets the hot air into the cookie and lets it bake more uniformly. So now I'm going to pop that into my 300 degree oven for one hour. So I'll see you in quite a while. Okay, my shortbread has been out of the oven for about 10 minutes now. I baked it for a total of 60 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still very hot. That's very hot. I'll pop that out. Whoops. We'll just get that little piece out in the middle. And there we go. There's a little snack. And then what I want to do is I'm going, while it's still hot, I'm just going to take a knife and I just want to recut my little cuts. And you want to do that while the shortbread is still warm. So just go along very carefully and just do your little cuts. 
and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let my shortbread cool down completely and I'll show you the finished product on my little turntable a lot closer up and you'll see the final product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Try this recipe out. It's really, really delicious. And that's it for this video. So I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. On the screen now, you can choose a video to watch or you can also click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you once again for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it.